That's amazing. The day we let people allow us to do so many things, the stuff we believe, the stuff we're willing to run behind and suffer, even with Shah Mood the well. I'm going to hit y'all every time I get a chance. It's amazing how y'all let a, a three time convicted felon well sit around and swim around free, and you sit around here and you kill your fellow man. You sit around, you got human beings living up under bridges. You got people home being foreclosed on, people car being repossessed, people marriage being broken up. You do nothing else but you go house some doing well named killer. Don't you know you got to go to hell, America? You're backwards. Mm. The money you go send and helping out all these other countries, so you call yourself doing, you sit here, you can't even clean up your own mess at home. America ain't in no, in no kind of position to go correct nobody and doing nothing. That's America right. needs to right. clean up her own house. Amen. So you need to get Amen. your own racism fixed here before you try to go fix Don't tell me about what Saddam was killing over there, no Croats and nobody else. We get killed and murdered and butchered right here in your street. That's yes, the right. murder of Corey Ward, still free. Yes, Don't sir. tell me about no Iraq. Don't Amen. tell me about Come no on, using no, no nuclear weapons and no biological chemical weapons. What do you think crack is, people? That's what do you right, think right. they were manufacturing in black people basements? That's right. Your own CIA said here and put these drugs on the street. Mm -hmm. LSD, well, it practice on your own military. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, you are so stupid. You sitting around, hey, me and the same folks that you went into crying, mom and grumbling to me. The same people got you sitting around stupid. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes, sir. Sitting around, think you free, you're nothing but a slave. Yes, sir. You know, it's amazing. Soon as so-called African-American that they call it with, that ain't our title. I don't mm -hmm. know how we're going to be an African and American anyway. Hey, man, that's right. come on, we come sure. from Africa. Mm -hmm. But we're not no America. I continue to tell these black people, we're victims of America. And as soon as you realize the better off you're going to be, you tell the truth and look at it. Mm -hmm. When right. you look at it, you still ain't got no rights. I was talking to this guy today, the Caucasian guy today, he was telling me, he said he's sick of y'all, asking about y'all for the acres of y'all mule. <laughs> really? He said sick of it. So y'all sit around here, you know what he told me? And don't, don't get me wrong. And you know what? It ain't even his fault. You know what the fault is? You can program people to think about it. Marcus Garvey said so, which is so true, propaganda. Yeah. Preachers do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't ever think I'm not here and I don't have an agenda. Everybody got an agenda. Mm -hmm. I'm talking. How many times I talked to the church that? There ain't nobody. Don't never go nobody and tell somebody that Pastor Murphy don't have an agenda. That's a lie. You got to look at who agenda fit what you're trying to do and what you're trying to accomplish. That's right. These Amen. people will use these preachers to set you down and keep you passive. They'll make you think that you are the beggar, that you are the worst thing ever hit this country, and you the one got this country in the mess. Listen, corporate welfare ain't in no comparison to no woman and no project that got no, no $80 dookie braids and no $20 fubu jeans. It had nothing to do with breaking revenue as a company. Go look at AIG and the biggest they got it messed up. How much they can spend on one weekend? You can divide it up and help out a whole community. That's look right, at all these right. other countries, Worldcom, that came through and made a mess. Go look at all these Halliburton that came through and made a mess and went over here and double bill over here in Iraq and made a complete mess. These are the people got you messed up. Yes, but they sir. try to teach you that the so-called black woman in the project got their country in the mess, their own country. It's a proven fact. You got decimated Caucasian on welfare and you got black. Yes, but the only thing they show is you. Yes, sir. That's right. I've been trying to tell you, projects ain't nothing but another sophisticated word for reservation. Mm. It's true. Every time they put you in, they got you on a, re they got you on a reservation. Mm -hmm. And when you look, everybody put on a reservation, they wind up killing and exterminating. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. They'll go and make sure everybody else get restitution. But when we ask for it, all of a sudden, we the worst thing ever hit the country. Mm -hmm. They'll go and make sure some fake lying so-called Jew go get hit money for a holocaust. What about our holocaust? Hey, that's right. Come on, preacher. They'll sit around and tell you about bomb that went on Hiroshima and all these things, how they were bombed and how they killed 30 million Chinese. And don't get me wrong, it's wrong to kill anybody. But what about our murder victim? Yes, sir. Right. right here in Atlanta, Georgia, we had 28 missing and murdered black kids who penises had been cut out and put in their mouth and they still got you sitting around looking past them. Kenny Walker of Columbia, Georgia is still dead. His wife and kids are still without a husband and a father. Don't tell me about no another country. Yes, Look sir. at your mess right here. Yeah, amen. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's amazing. Right. But don't, don't give me, this is what I just said is all racist. When they go up and tell you that, that Obama would have been fetching them coffee, that ain't racist. Mm -hmm. When, a, when one of your own white senators of, of Tennessee tell you that the people that put Obama in office, they half of them can't read and the other half can't even, can't even spell vote. Who you think they were talking about? That's not even racist. When I say something that's true, that's racist. I'm a black supremacist. They can go and give, they can go give um, permits 
and all this stuff to let white people walk around with sheep and call you the N-word with black baby dog hanging up and call that freedom of speech. When you say something, won't you get your black behind back to Africa? How you know my behind black? I ain't never showed it to you. Right. Boom, I fooled you. Right. <laughs> Nobody going to say nothing about it. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. Anybody going to say nothing about it? That's right. They got us so pat, they got you, you know what? You sit right here walking on eggshell, thank you, oh, we don't owe nobody nothing. That's right. Everybody owe God. Yes, sir. Right. White, black, Asian, green, yellow, whatever, everybody owe God. Yes, sir. Ain't right. none of these folk got no map on nothing. That's, That's right. right. Only folk you got Bible, he gave folk land, he gave us Jerusalem. Yes, sir. Then right. you beat us out of that. Nobody gonna say nothing about it, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I look at? It's amazing. I used to, I used to have that, that, um, that psycho problem of thinking when you said something about things that would get you that you were being prejudiced and racist. It was. You know, I, I looked, you know, this gentleman told me, and you know, I, I learned why people look at how they think, and the reason they think that way is because you gotta look at the kind of people they conversate with. Mm -hmm. He looked and he saw Ludacris today on, on, on Regis now, and I, ain't care, I don't care enough for one rapper over another one. He said, you know what, and I'm gonna say it, you know, black people don't need to listen to that junk, that junk down. I'm like, I don't know why y'all listen to country music. I think that jump. Keep yes, my dog, burn down my house, run off the cat, pull off the ward, off the go fish. Achy, breaky heart. None of that jump make no sense to me. Darling, pardon, Austin Well, none of them, none of them never impressed me. Ain't that right? Conway 20, ain't none of them impressed me. All that junk sound like suicide music. I'm keeping it real. But it's amazing what people go and pick. What make they keep, what about, you know what's amazing though? They're just keeping it real now. Let's keep it real. ACDC. Some white folk with paint on their face, music, smoke popping out, bust their good talk across here, dive in the audience. What is that? Madness. What is this? Foolishness. Who started all this jumping out in the audience like they wide open and catch them and told them and push them all through the crowd? Drunkenness. <laughs> I'm just being like, don't get me wrong. Rap is a detriment to people of color. Yeah. But let's not add like that. What's this other one they got called itself? The Prince of Darkness? Marilyn Manson. Oh, it's a, the Prince of Darkness. This is another name for the devil. That's right. Black fingernail potty look like a ghost. Skull and bone, all that fooling. What how the hell is this to Caucasian people? But see, they're always trying to point out what's going on with you. Look at your, look and sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around mine. That's right. <laughs> One thing they can't say now, I don't let people color off no hook. Mm -hmm. Every week I get on, I get everybody, I don't care what your nationality or what your color or your preference is, I get everybody with the word of God. Yes, sir. White, black, and everybody need to set their monkey behind down and obey God's word. That's right. That's right. 